And now, more with Social Women with your hosts, Pat Cruz, Amy Diaz, and Ronwin Dannenfelter. And we're here with uh, Joy Feldman of Joyful Cooking. Nice book. She brought presents in for us today. Yeah. I got mine. I got mine. I'm very excited. So uh, tell us. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Um, we have a book. First of all, um, what you do is nutritional balancing. Yes. Okay. Fill me in. Okay. Nutritional balancing, is, nutritional balancing is a means to bring the body back into balance. So what I look at, actually five different modalities when I work with the body. We work with a small sample of the hair, and that gives me a biochemical profile of what's going on in the body. We look at supplements, at food, at lifestyle, as I mentioned, the hair and detoxification protocols. And all of those help bring the body into a state of balance. Hair. Wow. <laughs> hair. hair. Wow. <laughs> Can you see all of us? Because we're just like stunned. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. We're so all right. Now continue. Some of our viewers on Ustream uh, have a question for Joy. Um, they want to know how much does it cost, um, the, the hair testing and, and this entire nutrition program? The hair test um, and the program is $250 for the initial consult. And that includes the hair test. Uh, actually, two consults are included in that. And I give a free copy of my book in that as well. I ask people to give me a year to work with them because I figure most people didn't get sick in a few days. Or if they want to improve their health, it's usually not done in a three-month period. So I ask people to work with me for a year. And we retest every three to four months. And that costs $150 to retest. So compared to some other programs, it's programs, very reasonable. Like diet fads, it's just it's very reasonable. Right. And supplements, I tell people, cost anywhere between $80 to $150 a month. Yes. So. My vitamins do. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will be probably throwing those away. <laughs> I, I'm addicted to little gummy ones, and that's probably oh. why I'm sick. Uh. <laughs> yes. I like the chewy one, the I chewable ones that... Flintstones, yeah, my favorite. I, yeah, but I, apparently they don't have all the vitamins we need. Okay, so I can't even say that. I I like those because they're like candy, but that's not really <laughs> what I take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I take gummy ones. I do. They just they they sit very well in my stomach. So. Okay, so holidays are coming. Yes. How about um, some real quick yes. tips about what women can do? Sure. Um, that will help them get through that little chipmunk time. Yes. You know, between now and, and Valentine's Day. What I would tell people to do is to make sure you eat a meal before you go out to a dinner party. That way you don't gorge when you're there and you just take small bites. And that's one really great way. If you go out to a party, try to choose foods that are the most nutrient rich. So something with some vegetables, uh, fruit based desserts would be a way to go, like a sorbet if they have. I would stay away from the very processed, creamy, gooey, jelly-filled oh, foods. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> 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 Boo. Boo. Now, earlier you mentioned uh, one drink, and some of our viewers uh, that are tuning in on Ustream with us um, mm. had a, are a little bit shocked about that. But mm. during the break, we, we spoke about it. Is there a way to dilute the process, like have a drink and maybe a glass of water? Or yes. What would be the best way to to have more than just one drink during the holidays. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> or uh, what types of drinks are, are best, than, are, are probably better? Well, water and sparkling water, I would highly recommend, is my first most favorite drink for people. But if they're going to have alcohol, I would stick with wine. Um, and maybe do a spritzer so it's watered down a bit. That might be a way to go as well. Spritzers, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell us about this cookbook. Can you tell yes. us about Yes, yes, yes. So. yes. Uh, the name of the book is Joyful Cooking in the Pursuit of Good Health. And the first do eight chapters. Do you have one? Yes, we do. Yep. Yes. You can hold it up. It actually just won an award, so we're very yeah. excited yeah. about I love that. The I really love the cover. I have an too, amazing so designer. I yes. Love the cover. And the first eight chapters of the book basically discuss the program. There are menus for the slow and fast oxidizer. Um, and I really tell people that a healing program starts with self-love. Mm -hmm. And that's how I begin the book, is to teach people to love themselves enough to make their health a priority. What a really good that's point. That's a great way because to start. <laughs> and that's a good way to think about the holidays, too. Mm -hmm. You know, to really go through it very mindful and really think about yourself before you take that second serving or the third serving or 
make a poor choice. Think think about how you're going to feel the next day. Exactly. And most people don't feel great when they, you know, eat the wrong foods or junk out. You really don't. Your hands get swollen, your body aches, you get a headache. Maybe you end up you looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> a little irritable. Where is it's it self-love, Larry? <laughs> 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 mm. So also I heard that a lot of this nutritional balancing helps with Obviously, depression, migraines, yes, yes. anxiety, high blood pressure. Digestive issues, um, all kinds of autoimmune issues. Uh, we really see a lot of results with people if they follow the program. Well, that's so really this is eat well, eat good things, and feel better and get healthy yeah. all in one. And one, well, oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say, are there recipes that's in there that we can yeah, use for the holidays? Yes, great recipes there's some in great here recipes. Too. There's an adult section in the back and there's a children's section. And also in the front of the book, the first eight chapters, I have a chapter for women who are, women who are expecting. Oops, sorry. It's all right. Uh, here you go. Women who are expecting, I have a section on healthy children. And then in the back part of the book, there is a whole recipe section for children, nice. as well oh. as adults. Could you just share your website with us one more time? Yes. My website is joyfeldman.com.